It's crazy to think that your mind can just sink into the same dark cloud that Seattle sits in. The Lord has paint and a canvas just waiting on you to give him his brush. And through Christ, there's liberation and proclaiming his name gives us salvation. And I thank you for allowing the Lord to give you a blank canvas so we can start painting your beautiful, magnificent, glorious, divine picture. But the hardest thing to do is to give him your brush, which was ultimately his. Because we want to be the artist. We love all these different colors and shades. We love to use composition to form the whole picture, the art of brushwork to make these colors engage one another, trying to create different reds and blues and greens and purples. It's beautiful. But we're not artists. And mixing these colors incorrectly can make a dark, dirty brown, even sometimes black. And that right there represents the darkness of our lives and it starts to consume. And for some of us, there's no room for the light of Christ and we seek things that give no life. It means nothing to proclaim yourself as a Christian if you're deliberately sinning, playing the devil's system. At times, our favorite color becomes black, which is darker than dark. Christ is our white out, so allow him to white us out so out of us his light can come out. Take it from me, I'm a witness. I've been a part of this world's sickness and it led me to affliction. I swore I was an artist. But now I realize all I need is him, because I'm not the artist. So now it's time to be tenacious. And that means to strap, grip, and hold on to the faith in our Lord who is merciful and gracious. And let's not take the power of the cross and diminish it, because grace isn't a ticket to live life sinning, let's face it. We were once dead in our transgressions. We have been resurrected through Christ. We are his masterpiece. Our artist is perfect. Our life is his canvas. Give him his brush back so you can be righteous, holy, and set apart from any other painting. And others can look at you, see his glory, and stand in awe.